What is good, y'all? This is your boy with St. Michael, man. And today, the New Orleans Saints 2020 schedule just came out. I'm so happy. I'm so excited, man. I can't wait for this football year, man. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting, man, especially with Tom Brady coming in our division. And, you know, I like competition, man. This is the real test to see if we're going to go to the Super Bowl. And, you, you, you know, man. <laughs> I'm just so, I'm sorry, I'm just so happy this schedule just came out, man. And first of all, you know, I wanna I wanna give like my predictions on the games and all of that good stuff. But um let's get into it, man. Um week one, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the dome at 325. I think we're gonna win this game. It's gonna be a very close game, but um I I, I think we can handle it. I think we're gonna kind of Take the hype down from Tom Brady and the Buccaneers and Rob Gronkowski. It's going to be a tough game. They got some weapons on that offense, man. They got Mike Evans. They got Chris Godwin. They got Rob Gronkowski. But, you know, I'm curious to see how Rob Gronkowski is going to play, especially with him taking a year off. I mean, I don't think it's really going to affect him. And we all know Tom Brady is not the same Tom Brady he was a few years ago. And, um... Our defense is they st- they stuck together, you know. They played with each other for years, so our chemistry, the chemistry is there. You know, it's gonna be a good game. So I have us winning by a score of thirty-eight to thirty-five. Okay, up next we have the Las Vegas Raiders in Las Vegas. I'm gonna I'm gonna give us the win here because I think the Raiders are still kind of building their team. Yeah, they they have some pieces to the puzzle, but I don't think they completely built yet. And um, the Saints, we we are very complete, especially with Emmanuel Sanders. Adding him helped out a lot. And, you know, keeping the same players on defense. And somebody having helping Michael Thomas on the field. We got Kamara. And, you know, I just don't think the Raiders' defense. The Raiders' defense is very young. And I don't think they're ready to uh, face an offense like ours. Up next, well, oh, I'm sorry. In the score prediction, I have us winning 31-17. to 17. Up next, we have green the Green Bay Packers in New Orleans. Y'all going to hate to hear it, but this is going to be a blowout. I got us winning this game. The reason I'm saying y'all going to hate it, I don't think the Packers are going to be really that much of a factor this year. I mean, look at it. The, the Packers didn't even help Aaron Rodgers out during the offseason. Instead, they went to go draft a quarterback, Jordan Love. I wanted Jordan Love because I think he's going to be a great player in the future. And then they drafted a running back in the second round. They didn't They didn't draft the wide receiver. They only have Devontae Adams. And I think the Saints could um, handle Devontae Adams. I think we could put him in his place. Marshawn Lattimore holding him, holding it, holding it down. And Aaron Rodgers, historically, I, I believe he's 0-2 in the Dome. In 2008... We killed the Packers. And then in 2014, I believe it was 2014, man, Aaron Rodgers, man, it was a back and forth game. And then all of a sudden, everything just turned around. Our defense turned around and, you know, we just blew them out from there on. So I have us winning that game 45 to 34. Up next, we, we are at Detroit, the Detroit Lions. We're going to win that game. I'm not really worried about Detroit because I think... They're still rebuilding, but at the same time, I can't just say that because the Lions actually might be one of the best teams this year. And the reason I say that is because if they don't do good this year, then Matt Patricia is most likely going to get fired because he had a few years to try to rebuild the team and, you know, try to get a winning season. But I don't think it's going to be too much for the Saints to handle, you know. I know it's in Detroit, but I'm not really worried about it. Detroit still building around. I don't see them having so many weapons on offense. I know they have Jones as the receiver, and I know Matthew Stafford is still a good quarterback, in my opinion. But I don't think it's enough to beat us, man. Our defense is, our roster is just complete. We one of the most completed rosters in the NFL, if not the most completed. So I have us winning that game. I say about a score of 34 to 13. Up next, we have the Los Angeles. Chargers in New Orleans. What is that on Monday Night Football? I have us winning that game. Why? Because the Chargers never beat Drew Brees or the Saints with Drew Brees, you know. And I just feel like 
Justin Herbert is not going to, or Tara Taylor, either one of those quarterbacks are going to come in our house on a Monday night and just beat us single-handedly like that. Now, their defense, don't get me wrong, they have a great defense, I heard. But I just don't see them just beating us in our house on a Monday night with a with, with, with a young quarterback. If Justin Herbert starts, I just don't see it. Or if Tyrod Taylor play, I just don't see him targeting and torturing our defense. I just don't see it. So I have but I think it's gonna be a close game. I think we're gonna win by score twenty seven to twenty four. Up next is our bye week, and then after our bye week is the Carolina Panthers and the Dome. Teddy Bridgewater returning to the Dome. I think we're going to blow the Panthers out. Everybody say, why? Because their defense is very, 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 very young. Especially with them losing Luke Keekley. I just don't see the, the, the Panthers being too much of a threat. Especially in the Dome. I don't see it. And plus, I think Sean Payton and the defense, they know how Teddy Bridgewater play. They now, I'm pretty sure they know Teddy Bridgewater well enough to know what get under his skin. And, you know, I, I think we could handle the Panthers. I say we win by a score of 28 to 24. Up next, we have the Chicago Bears in Chicago. I have us winning that game because if Mitch Trubinsky the starter, then I'm not too much. I'm not. Oh, my God. I'm not going to be worried at all, man. Mitch, <laughs> Mitch Trubinsky could not throw that ball to the receivers to save his life the last time he played against the Saints. He couldn't do nothing against the Saints, man. I remember that game. Man, we we damn nearly blew him out, man. Mr. Trubisky was is he was a he, he just not. He don't have the accuracy. I don't even know how he in the league. I don't even know how he became the second overall pick, but we're not talking about that. Because of Mr. Trubisky, I'm not too much really worried about them unless Nick Foles start, then yeah, it might be a close game, but I still think we're going to win. If Mitch Trubisky play, I think we're going to win up a score of 38 to 10. And if Nick Foles play, I think we're going to win by a score of 35 to 27. It's going to be closer if he play. Up next, we got Tampa. We got the Buccaneers again, except it's in Tampa on Sunday Night Football. I got Tampa Bay taking that game. There's no way we're going to sweep Tampa Bay. And there's no way I don't think they're going to sweep us. I have this series being even. Tom Brady win one and Drew Brees win one. I just don't see it, man. I don't see us beating them twice. I mean, they have almost the same roster as we do, but I just don't see it, like I said. And it's in Tampa Bay, and we all know Drew Brees, he just don't play right in Tampa Bay for some reason. Every time we play in Tampa Bay, it's a close, 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 close game. Except last year because we know Winston was throwing all those interceptions and stuff, so... And you know, it's just Drew Brees. They 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 play us tough in Tampa Bay. I don't think I don't see us winning. I have us losing by a score of thirty four to twenty. Or you know what? Well, no, I got us losing by a score of thirty one to twenty three. Up next, we have we have the ain't land. No, no, no. We have the San Francisco 49ers in New Orleans. I got us winning that game. I'm not really too much worried about Jimmy G. You know, he's not too much of a threat. Yeah, he had a, he had a great. I think that was his best game of his career against the Saints when they came to New Orleans that one time. But this time is a little bit different in my opinion. I'm, I'm not too much worried about him. Um I know they're still talented and the 49ers are still going to be one of the best teams in the league, but I still think we could, we could, we gonna handle them. There's no way they're beating us in the dome two times in a row. There's no way, no way. But I have us winning the game. I have us winning thirty to twenty-seven in overtime. Up next, we have the Ain't Land of Falcons. The Ain't Land of Falcons, the team I can't stand the most in history of football. That's why they never won a Super Bowl and they never will. I hope they never do. I hope Julio leave and I hope Ty Gurley needs. You know what? I ain't going to even say all that. <laughs> I'm just playing. But I really hate Atlanta, man. But, but for real, man, we got Atlanta and New Orleans. I think we're going to win that game. It's going to be a close one. Because I don't think Atlanta defense, I, they offense is built. They offense is complete. How you got Matt Ryan? I mean, how you got Matt Ryan? How do you have Julio and Kelvin Ridley? And you had Devontae Freeman, but you got Ty Gurley now, and you, and you still can't do nothing. Like, come on. But anyways, I got us winning, man. I got us winning by a score of 28 to 24. It's going to be a close game, man. It's going to be close because of the addition of Ty Gurley. So, 
I got us winning that game. And up next, we have the Denver Broncos in Denver. Um, we're going to take an L. Why? Because we can't never beat the Broncos. No matter how sad they are, we still can never, ever, ever, ever beat them. For some reason, I just don't understand. Drew Brees don't play good against the Broncos. I just don't know. The Saints don't play good, period, against the Broncos. Man, we lost three times in a row with Drew Brees when we had a man. Shoot, man. I remember they jumped over our kid. They jumped over our center and blocked that kid, man. They made me mad. But I just don't see us winning. We just can't beat the Broncos for some reason. So I got us losing by a score of 23 to 17. Up next, we have Atlanta in Atlanta. We got Atlanta in Atlanta. We face the Falcons again. But this time, I got us. Oh, boy, it's tough to pick, man. Um, It's tough to pick, but um, I'm going to go ahead and. You know what? Nah, I'm, I'm picking the Saints. I'm We winning. We beating Atlanta. Screw Atlanta, man. I hate Atlanta. And I hate their fans. Except Timothy. You know, that's my dog, man. That's my dog. But besides him, I hate every other Falcons fan. That's why, like I said, they never won a Super Bowl. But I got us winning by a score of 34 to 31. Up next, we got the Philadelphia Eagles in Philly. I got us winning because I just don't see the Eagles as a real threat. I know everybody say they got a good team and they built and stuff, but I just don't, I don't see it, man. I don't see it. I just don't think the Eagles got it in them. I think Malcolm Jenkins gonna go there and have a, have a ball. Man, Malcolm Jenkins gonna be all over the place, man. I think that's gonna be his game to take over. And yeah, that's his return to Philly. And that's, you know, he gonna get revenge for them not wanting to pay him like he deserved because he played every snap of the um season. But I got us winning by a score of 41 to 24. Up next, we have the Kansas City Chiefs in New Orleans. I got Kansas City winning. This is going to be another crazy game like how it was against the Giants in 2015. That back and forth crazy game. I think it's going to just be it's going to be just like that. But I got the Chiefs winning at the last minute. I got I see I could I could see Patrick Mahomes getting the ball last, going down the field and just score a touchdown or a field goal or whatever. I got the Chiefs winning 45 to 42. Up next, we have the Minnesota Vikings. I hate them, too. On Christmas Day, I swear the Saints better not ruin my Christmas, man. I love Christmas. The Saints better not ruin my Christmas Day, man. I might go to that. I actually might go to that game, man. Um, But I got us winning against the Vikings. I'm tired of everybody saying, oh, you can't beat the Vikings in the playoffs. For some reason, we don't play good against them. I don't know. But I, in a regular season, we could kind of beat them. But in the play, I don't know, man. I don't even want to talk about that. But I, I got us beating the Minnesota Vikings, man. I got us winning by a score of 20, 28 to 26. It's going to be a close game. It ain't going to be no blowout. Well, actually, you know what? No, I take that back. I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, The, the Vikings got rid of all of their players on defense. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe the Vikings got rid of their defense to tackle Joseph. They got rid of three cornerbacks, including your boy, the pro bowler. What's his name? Xavier Rhodes. I don't I got us blowing them. I got us blowing them out. 42 to 20. No, 42 to 17. And up next, not last, but we got the Carolina Panthers. The last game of the season. I got us winning in Carolina. I got us winning by a score of... Because at that point, I think Carolina is going to kind of be down. But at the same time, it could go either or. Because you already know how the Saints play against their rivals sometimes. It could go either or. Like, if the backups play, if, like if Drew Brees and them don't play, like Drew Brees and Kamara and the defense don't really show up because of the playoffs. Because you know we got an extra, um, an extra gap in the playoff now. And then they just rest the starters. I think we're going to lose. But if we don't, we're going to win. If all players play, we're going to win. By a score, I think we're going to win by a score of 24 to 21. And that's it. That's it, guys. Um, Thank y'all for joining my show, man. I really I really enjoyed you I hope y'all enjoyed this. And um, I really hope y'all enjoy my video, like I just said, man. Um, tune in for some more videos. I'm going to have a later on prediction. With my boy Adam. And um, yeah, guys, um, thank y'all for um, tuning in. I have us going 13-3 right now or 12-4. Peace, Who That Nation.